There have been several companies as of late releasing AI search engines. The goal of these is to use machine learning to give users a better search experience than traditional search engines like Google and Bing. We've tried several of them over the past few months and we'll let you know which AI search engines we think are the best. Let's get started. These won't be in any particular order. As usual, we'll save the best for last. Up first, OpenAI just released an AI search engine that is built into ChatGPT's existing interface. It can be used in ChatGPT itself, and there's also a Chrome extension for Chromium-based browsers. At this time, it's only available for paid subscribers, and they say they'll be rolling it out to free users in the coming months. While ChatGPT's search engine is in its early days, it's not too bad. The up-to-date answers appear to be very reliable, but of course, one still has to be careful using many of the AI products because they can still make mistakes, or as some people call it, hallucinate. A major positive with this AI search engine and many of the others is there isn't the clutter of advertising found in most traditional search engines, which is nice. Next up is Andy, who refer to themselves as search for the next generation. It has an interface that is very user-friendly and it's less conversational than the typical chatbot. What that means is that it won't retain the context of follow-up questions and it won't accept any follow-up instructions. This, for some of you, may be a positive or negative depending on how you want to search. It shows the results in the main response area. Additional web links are located in the side panel on the right. And depending on your query, you can sort the responses by results, news, and video. According to their website, Andy will always be free and anonymous for everyone, but they do plan on having paid business accounts at some point in the future. Technically, Andy is still in the pre-beta phase and it's available for anyone to try out. Waldo is a more specialized type of AI search targeted at businesses. It acts as a research assistant that lets you, as they say, become an expert in seconds. As I'll show you coming up, it takes more than seconds. They offer prepackaged workflows to do brand audits, market profiles, research, cultural trends, and they have tons of other workflows to choose from. You could do a search in their search box or choose one of their workflows to take a deeper dive. The full results can take about one minute to complete. The results are quite detailed, offering several areas to take a deeper dive, which is great for doing intensive research. They do recommend installing their Chrome extension to get access to all of its features. Waldo is not cheap. Pricing starts at $149 per month. I was able to use it on a free trial to try it out, but could not find any documentation that says how long the free trial is for before you'd have to upgrade. Offering a simple interface, Como offers a ton of useful tools, including a mind map showing a tree map of the results and there's an explore button that shows thumbnails of searches that are related. It also has a tool they call Como's Personas that offers an explainer, TLDR, planner, copywriter, among others. Como is free to use for anyone wanting to try it out. If you want additional features, including the ability to choose an AI model, the mind map, and the personas I mentioned earlier, plans start at $12 per month. U.com is another one that is more focused on business use. They call themselves the AI Productivity Platform. You'll see four buttons on their home screen. Research is their customized agent for in-depth searches. Creative is for visual creations. Genius is for multi-step problems. And the last one lets you build your own agent. Or you could just do a standard search in the search box below. Even with a spelling error for the word oven, it figured out what I wanted. U.com, like some of the others, is one that you can use for free. With their paid plans starting at $15 per month, they give you access to all of the AI models and they'll give you access to their research and custom agents. I guess to be fair, I have to mention Google. So here we go. Trying to have their cake and eat it too, Google will sometimes, in the results, offer AI overviews, which are designed to get you information quicker and easier. To the right of that, they'll offer sources related to the question. And below the AI overviews, you'll see the traditional results. 
Since Google is the dominant player in search, it should be an interesting few years to see how this all shakes out. If you prefer something that is more conversational, there's Google's Gemini chatbot that gives you access to its AI search capabilities. It does many things, including creating AI-generated images, or you could just do a search. Because of the numerous issues that have made the headlines in the news, you'll now see this warning pop up when you first use Gemini. Gemini is free to use. They do offer Gemini Advanced after a one month free trial for around $20 per month with access to the latest generation model. Our favorite AI search engine, and it's not even close, is Perplexity. It can be used in your favorite desktop browser on their site, has a Chromium based browser extension and apps for iOS and Android. So it can be used on multiple platforms. The results are laid out nicely with source links at the top and images to the right. To quickly begin a new search, their keyboard shortcut, which is the control key plus I, is super handy. So if user interface, ease of use, and multi-platform support are the most important factors, perplexity is the best right now. For most casual users, their free plan should be sufficient. They do offer a pro plan for $20 monthly, this offers more pro searches, better longer interactions with AI-generated follow-up questions, and you can create AI-generated images as well. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you've used any of the AI search engines, let us know in the comments your favorite and why. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss out on the latest in AI and other tech-related stuff.